Hello friends, in this video we're going to look at this Bose Wave Radio. I clicked on the bottom, this is model AR1-1W. It's in kind of an ivory color. Got this today at a thrift store for $10.99. And with my senior discount it comes out to about $8 or so. This appears to be just the radio no uh, built-in CD player as some of their models have and I've learned to pick up on Bose stuff because of the fact that my three most popular videos are all Bose equipment so uh, evidently people who watch my channel like Bose so you're welcome you're worth 10.99 with discounts to me as usual, I haven't turned this on or tried it out in any way in advance. We'll do that together. Turn on my power strip. Go to watt mode. 6 watts ambient. So, I see the blinking 1201 here for a clock that needs to be set. Not surprising. I'm going to try to figure out how to, uh, we'll just go right on to the radio and worry about the clock later. Hopefully that works. Okay, we're on FM. Go down in volume. That's a nice numerical volume display here. Try to find a station. I don't have an antenna hooked up, so we'll do that real quick and get back to you. Here's a shot of the back. Thought we'd look at that while I'm working on the antenna. Let's take a little tour. We've got aux in, and I can't read the label, but I think this is speakers out of some kind. Here's a standard FM 75 ohm uh, external antenna. I've got one of these little converter gizmos and a kind of a cheap 300 ohm FM antenna that you can just kind of spread around and it generally works to some extent so let's go back the other way and see what we've got I guess you have to hold this for a second necessarily if they exist I think there is some question as to how large they so this are. is my local uh, NPR station we'll go down in volume so that works just fine I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off for the moment so that I don't have to talk over it but that's a pretty good sign um, just hearing the conversation on the radio program it was uh, you know it sounded kind of nominally good so so far so good the numbers are kind of faint on the clock part of it but that may be okay uh, you know I've got some brighter lights going on here for filming purposes I guess that's not too bad I've hooked up the aux input to this cable it loops around and goes to my phone so I can play copyright free music from one of my favorite copyright free artists, the Mini Vandals. If you've seen my videos, you've heard them before. Let's try this one, Addis Ababa. That sounds interesting. I have no idea what it is, but we'll find out together. Every dollar is going to want. Okay. So. Oh, okay. So here it is playing at kind of a moderate volume level. Sounds good to me overall. For a unit of this size, I'd say the sound quality is is pretty good just kind of offhand. So now I've got it at a real uh, quiet level. 
Still sounds good. I'm hearing the bass come through. So I'm going to crank it up and I may compensate on the video editing to kind of crank it down so it won't blast you all at home. But let's try it. So it looks like it stops at 99. I don't know what the units are, it's probably just arbitrary. I doubt that they're dB. So we'll go down to kind of a just barely hear it level. So this is 40 on their scale. I don't know if you can just barely hear that at home, but I can just barely hear it here. I'll go down further until I literally can't hear it. So it's making some noise. This is approximately the can't hear it unless you put your ear next to it. So on their scale it's maybe 25 or so. This is 22 right now. But it probably cut out at about the 25 level. I'll go up a little bit to get to a hearable level again. And we've moved on to a new song which kind of Infuses things. I'll skip ahead in the middle of that in case it has a ramp up. So we're pretty quiet at about the 50 level here. So give it, uh, so say, sort of a conversational volume is maybe at 70 here. So 99 is louder than you'd want to be right next to it might be fine across the room uh, the highest volume level on this so far isn't really blasting me you can probably go up higher on the phone I'm gonna go up higher on the phone So with the phone cranked up all the way, um, I know from experience that the output of the phone is not really all that large as far as driving amplifiers goes. Um, but with the volume on the unit and the phone cranked up all the way, it was kind of unpleasantly loud and also I seem to be losing some music quality. It was kind of distorted or whatever. So my impression of this so far is that it's probably very good for what it was intended for which is some nice ambient music and in particular with all the alarm clock functions you have a lot of possibilities as far as setting it up for a pleasant wake up uh, volume and I think it's a nice unit for what it is these are still in demand and kind of what I suspect happened here uh, in the days of the home automation speakers like the uh, Amazon and Google products you really don't need anything this big uh, the sound quality of those are is actually extremely good for the size that they have I've got an Amazon Echo and I'm always amazed at how good it sounds considering it's only about you know like four inches in diameter or something so on the face of it, this looks like a stereo system with two speakers, but I think it may actually be mono uh, based on a video that I watched about the inside of these things. So as our next little exercise, let's just try to set the clock. I've got 824 right now. So let's go up. We're still doing volume on that one. Okay. Stop on volume. Give me clock. So this looks like just the standard drive it around slow fast type system that you get on normal alarm clocks. It's got a backwards button which is nice because we've all had the experience of running past and then having to go around again. 
I see there's a little PM here under the sticker. I'm going to turn off this light so I can read it better here. Maybe for you people at home too. So we're trying to get to 8 something. 8.24. Now it's 8.25. Okay. So the clock appears to work on that just fine. The auxiliary feature worked. We'll go back to um, AM and FM. I think the uh, So that's FM back to the station we were before. Let's do AM. There's one here at 610. Since that didn't have it. Just by its name. For instance, did you know that Thermal King Windows sells and installs? So this is a commercial for Thermal King Windows, which means that I don't have to worry about copyright violations. But likewise, you don't want to listen to it. So what we got out of that was uh, the AM feature of this works just fine as well. I'm guessing it has a built-in AM antenna, which is kind of standard for uh, clock radios. So at some level you could call this a really high-end clock radio. Uh, another use for it would be as a, a sort of a secondary audio system for like, uh, you know, workshop setting like I've got here. Although I've got a much better setup available in this spot, so I don't have plans for that. So I'll do a little bit more checking out on this, but so far so good. It's in good physical condition. All the basic features of it seem to work. There's uh, probably every reason to believe that it's kind of good as new, more or less. And with a little light cleaning, uh, I'll probably end up reselling this. Now a lot of times, per the name of this channel, some disassembly required, I take things apart in most cases. But in this case, this unit has enough value um, that I probably won't risk taking it apart. There are other videos on the YouTube about what they look like on the inside, so you and I can both just look at one of those if we want to. Based on this quick trout that I've done, uh, I think I'm ready to give this thing a thumbs up and uh, hopefully whoever is the next owner will uh, enjoy it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and bye bye.